Drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. Within this video I'll be accuracy testing with three different refractometers that come in at three different price points. This video is very much a follow-up to our recent test video as shown on screen now that tested one sample that was quite low in gravity. If you have not seen the first video then I recommend you do so first before watching this follow-up as there is much information contained in that one that I will not be repeating in this one. This time I have two different samples that came from a high gravity brew that I completed recently. So let's get started. So as you can see the smart ref is back with its ultra accuracy of 0.2 degrees brick. So as such this is essentially our benchmark device. Also returning as our box standard blue box refractometer and Kegland Sabre refractometer. For this test I have two samples which both came from one recent high gravity brew. The first of these was captured during the mash-in phase of this brew, whereas the second sample was captured at the end of the boil after extra sugar was added, so as such is much higher in gravity. Before each of these three devices were used in this test, all of them were calibrated using distilled water. Before moving on, each was showing a neutral gravity of 1.000 specific gravity. The first sample was then taken from the high gravity mash and I started by loading this into our benchmark device, the Smart Ref, to see the accurate result. This delivered a specific gravity result of 1.076. I then brought out the Kegland Sabre refractometer and loaded it with the same sample and got back a specific gravity value of 1.079. So this result shows that the Sabre is three gravity points inaccurate in this test, which is actually better than I expected at this level of gravity with a device of this type. It was then the turn of our budget unbranded blue box refractometer, which was also loaded with the same sample and I got back a specific gravity value of 1.087. So with this refractometer we see a result that is 11 gravity points above the accurate level, which I will mention does not surprise me considering the level of gravity within a device of this nature. It was then time for our post-boil sample which was collected after adding extra sugar and finishing the boil, so we can expect this one to be a fair bit higher in gravity compared to the previous sample. So as you can see our second sample has an accurate reading of 1.115 specific gravity. If this was a beer that finished at 1.010 SG then we would have a beer that is almost 14% ABV, so this is certainly a high-end sample. So let's now bring out both of our budget refractometers and see how they handle something this high in gravity. I added this higher sample to both of these refractometers and here are the results. Firstly, our budget unbranded blue blocks refractometer returned a result of 1.133, which is 18 gravity points above the accurate reading taken with the smart ref. Secondly, our Keglan Sabre came back with a reading of 1.120, which is 5 gravity points above the accurate reading taken with the Smart Ref. Let's now take each result from all three of these tests from both videos and compare them on a chart and discuss them. Within our first test, which was with a lower gravity wart, you can see the Sabre was just one point away from being accurate, whereas the Blue Box Refractometer was four points away. Within our second test, which was from a high medium strength wall, we see that there is a 3 point inaccuracy from the Sabre and 11 points of inaccuracy from the blue box. Within our third test, which was from a high strength wall, we can see that the Sabre was 5 points inaccurate, whereas the blue box was 18 points away. So as you can quite clearly see, the blue box refractometer is not very accurate at all at the higher end of wall strengths and not particularly accurate even at the lower end either. However, I want to point out again that this type of refractometer is a lucky dip item when it comes to accuracy, and some are certainly better than others. The core of the problem here is that you will not know unless you have something accurate to judge it by. It also has to be said that if you had such an item, then you would be using that instead anyway. Some will say that they calibrate the refractometer using their hydrometer as a reference. The problem here is that budget hydrometers are also not very accurate either, as I showed in a previous video, where I compared a number of different devices against the Anton Par Easy Dens density meter, which like the Smart Ref has a very high level of accuracy. 
Looking at the Cagland Sabres results, I can see that this would probably suit most brewers who are brewing medium strength beers with occasional low and high strength. You will know that it tends to read on the higher side, which increases slowly upwards on the gravity scale. However, it has to be said that considering the price of the Sabre versus accuracy, this offers very good value for money, and some great work has clearly been done here to push out as much accuracy as possible within the limitations of such a device. The Anton Paul Smart Ref is naturally the way to go for those that even need the accuracy because they are involved within professional brewing, or are happy to pay the extra cost to have this level of accuracy that it offers that you could simply never get with cheaper devices that are available for home brewing. As I mentioned in my first video, the two most important things here, as I see it at least, are that you are aware of the limitations of what you use, and that you are happy with the end results despite this, or because you have narrowed everything down. Either way, as long as you are happy, then that is all that should really matter. Why not let myself and the community know what you think within the comments section of this video? I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group, and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store, as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!